So, you want to get into arm wrestling. Awesome. Be safe and have a lot of fun. Uh, you want to get stronger. There's three lifts that I feel are completely essential and should take up the majority of your work off the table. The first one you should do is what we call rising. Really easy to do with a martial arts belt. Okay, I use, I use a martial arts belt because it's soft and even when you start to lift heavy weight, it's not gonna cut you. Simple way to do it is tie, it, tie a knot at the bottom. Okay, and let the weights just run over. Put your arm through, just like this. Come around, grab the, grab the belt like this. Have the belt so that it's in between your, your punching knuckle and your first knuckle. You can do this now any way you want. If you want to stand, do reps, hold, rest on a bench, rise up, use a pulley, but any way you cut it, this is gonna drop. This is super important in arm wrestling for establishing the high hand, for regripping, being more efficient, and using more musculature against your opponent. The next move is probably the most important part of arm wrestling, the cup, okay? There's probably nothing in the forearm that can generate more strength and it's more of a pure fundamental to the sport of arm wrestling than bending your wrist in. You can use really any type of spinning handle. Even when you start to do your pull-ups or any kind of work, if you just focus on keeping tension through your wrist, it's, it's gonna help you. Uh, most arm wrestlers start to use thicker spinning uh, tools. There's tons of them. Just as an example, I have your standard thick spinner. This is actually from Juji. Again, you can do holds or you can do reps where you burn out your wrist. The whole goal of it is to make it so you cannot cup your wrist in anymore and your wrist is gonna bend back the same way a good arm wrestler is gonna attack you. Always think, attack the person's fingers and you will have your fingers attacked. So that means you need to be awesome at cupping your wrist in. The last fundamental, super, super important strength is what we call pronation. Or really, it's not so much pronation, it's not getting turned over. So you need to be really strong like this. Uh, again, simple stuff. I go back to martial arts belt and this is this is the grip just take the belt put your thumb in have it so it's running running over the back of your hand something like that take up the tension with your thumb and curl it up okay you don't need the support of a bench you can do it in the air, you can do it with a pulley. Either way, think about your thumb, think about turning, okay? Super important strength. When you have these three things working together, when you have your rise happening, that makes you put pressure in the person's fingers. Then you have your cup working, it puts more pressure in their fingers. And then when you start to roll, this is a hand sport, it's a forearm sport. You do those three things, super, super strong. You might never even have to get on a table. First time you grab hold of somebody, they're gonna think you've been arm wrestling for five or 10 years already. Uh, there is obviously a more to arm wrestling, but I promise you, you get good at rising, cupping, and rolling. Uh, you might just be a champ.
Way of the Giant Pumpkin.